Hey guys, it's Dr. J here. In this series, we're diving into the exciting world of mobile app development. So buckle up and get ready to explore the incredible possibilities of mobile development. I will be using the online tool called Thunkable. We will cover the basics of designing a user interface, implementing logic, and we'll be creating some exciting projects. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Let's embark on this exciting journey. Happy app development. Let's get started. You will need to open up your browser and within the browser, you would need to type thunkable.com in the address bar. Thereafter, you can press enter and this will bring you to the Thunkable landing page. This is the logo. That's the Thunkable logo. And one of the first things we will need to do is to sign up. On the top right hand corner, we can click on the sign up button. We have three different ways in which we could sign up. One is to use our Google uh, login. That's what I'm going to do. You could also sign up with Apple or you could sign up with email. Since I have a Google account, I'm just going to log in using my Google account. Once you click on that particular option, you may be prompted for a few more uh, bits of information and you will then come to this particular page. You are now in Thunkable. We can create a new project. Uh, next to that, you will see any existing projects that you have. And below that, you can see some of the featured projects that you can explore. Uh, you can also look at a public gallery or you can look at your data sources. I'm going to start by creating a new app. So clicking on this particular option. It then requests me to enter a new project name. Since we're creating a project, I'm going to, you will need to type in a name. You will need to select a category. The project could be public or private. However, if it's private, you will need to be on the paid subscription. So I will leave this on public. Uh, I'm going to type in the name test. This is just a test project. Uh, the category I will select is education. I will leave this on public and now I will click create. Once I click create, it then takes me into the environment that I will now use to create my user interface and to be able to create interactivity. I am now in the live environment. This is my test project. And there are two main areas that we will be working in. The first area is the design section. I am currently in the design area where you can see my screen with some other panels, which we will explain just now. The second area are the blocks. If I click on the blocks, there are many different things that I can drag and drop onto this section and I can start creating logic for it to behave, for my project to behave the way I would like it to behave. This we will look at in more detail a little later in subsequent videos. For now, I want to explore the design, uh, the design page and let's understand what we can do here. As you can see, this is our mobile interface. Uh, I've got components 
that I can add to this interface. Those components could be in the form of buttons, labels, images, etc. I can then add data. I can add input and I can add media and I could also embed. For now, my programs are going to be very simple and we're going to look at some of the basic components. So I'm going to start off by adding an image. I'll drag this onto my screen and I can position it where I want to. Once I've got the image component on my screen, this particular window allows me to set properties for that particular image. But before I set the properties, you will also notice the component tree start building up. So we started off with the initial screen and now we have an image that's added onto our screen. So selecting the image, I can now select a picture that I would like appear in this image control. And there are other different properties that can be set. For example, the visible property, I can set a border, shadow, etc. Let's start off by adding a picture. Uh, I can either upload a picture or I can type in a URL. Let me go on to Pixabay and let's find a picture that we can use. So I like this particular picture of the hummingbird. I will right click on the picture and I will copy the image address. I can then go back to Thunkable and under picture, I can say, I can click on type in URL. It has a starting HTTPS. I'm just going to take all that out and I'm going to paste control V to paste my picture. And as I paste my picture, it now appears on my screen. So I've got a picture. You can play around with the other properties. Uh, it's no longer visible. Uh, so you can play around to see how these other properties work. I'm now going to add a label. So I'll drag a label onto my form and then I will reposition it. So this is my label component. And again, when the label component is selected, this is how you can either select your components or you can know whether which component is selected. So my label component is selected. I'm going to type in some text to say this is a hummingbird. I've got my text in place. For my text, I could also change other properties like the font, the color, etc. You can play around with those. I'm going to leave everything to the standard settings. And I want to also add a button. So I will drag a button onto my form. I'll position it and again on my component tree, you can see I've got a button, a label and an image. I'm going to change the text on the button and we will say speak. Uh, so in the next video, when I click on this button, we will code it using the block section to say this is a hummingbird. So for now, uh, I'm just going to add the button. Let's make sure the button is selected. And I want the button to blend a bit more with my picture. So I will go and change 
if I scroll down, background color, uh, maybe I'll select something similar to the picture, green, like that. It blends in a bit better. You can play around and decide exactly what type of blend you want. Now I've got my button. Let's go to the screen component and let's change the background color. There we are. I'm going to select a background color like this. So this is my design that I'm creating. And if I wanted, I could add other components depending on what project I want to set up. Uh, but maybe I should also just add, if I put in a component, it appears here. And if I don't want the component any longer, you can place your cursor and there is a delete. So I can click on the delete uh, and I can say delete and the component is now deleted from the screen. So the key things to take note of is the area where you are designing. Then you've got your components that you add onto that area. And then you have the properties that you will set for each of your components. Now that we've created the interface, we can view it using two methods. The first method is to view using the web preview option. Clicking on this particular icon, you will now be able to preview the application in a web browser. This is the button. Obviously, there's no coding on the button, so nothing would happen. But this is what it would look like. You can go back to your editing by clicking on this particular button. The second option to preview would be to preview live on your cell phone. In order to do that, you would click on this little icon and you would then be requested to download the Thunkable app on your phone. Uh, since I'm using an Android phone, uh, I'm going to download it from the Google Play Store. Otherwise, you would download using the App Store for that particular uh, phone. In this case, click on the Google Play Store. You can type in Thunkable and you can click on the Install. Once that has been installed, you can then open up the app and it will bring you to an interface similar to this. It's then going to request you to log in, to sign in. You will click uh, on the sign in and uh, make sure you select the same account that you used when you were signing in. Uh, using the web uh, to log into this Thunkable app. Once you have done that, it should then at that stage, it could ask you, it could bring up your projects or it should bring up immediately your app on your phone. In the next video, we will move to the block section and create some blocks that will allow us to speak the words, this is a hummingbird, when this button is pressed. If you liked the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Till the next video, take care. Bye.